In this slide, we cover the basic workflow of Workbench. On the left hand side, we can see our toolbox with our analysis systems and our component systems. To make a simulation the active simulation, we need to drag some of the um, analysis or component systems into the project schematic window. And that can be done by left clicking on the particular item in the toolbox and dragging into this project schematic before releasing. This then makes it the active simulation system. In this particular case, we have a full analysis system, which is all of the elements all um, linked together in the same system. So we start with engineering data and geometry through to model setup, then on to solution and results. This is all combined into the same analysis system. So then the workflow is to progress from the top to the bottom. And we have an icon on the right hand side which updates the status of the element of the system so we can at a glance see the current status uh, of the particular analysis. The corresponding way to build up the same simulation is to do it from component systems rather than an analysis system. In this way we have individual elements displayed within the project schematic rather than the entire analysis system. To create this we can click and drag in the same way a component system, in this case geometry, bring it into the project schematic. For the subsequent part, in this case the mesh, we can click and drag the mesh component system and drop it onto cell A2. This then links the geometry element to the meshing element. Here we can see our cells A2 and B2 connected, which infers a sharing of the geometry. In the same way, we can also drop on the solver and results elements that can be seen in C and D elements. And this is the way in which we can connect up multiple elements into an equivalent um, analysis system.